Welcome back, people in the area mourning the loss of a beloved mentor, my friend, and a religious leader in the community. Former Missouri Western professor Jimmy Albright died Monday, but friends say his legacy will continue. KQ2's Madeline McLean has more. Following the death of Jimmy Albright, many are mourning the loss of a beloved pastor, professor, and friend. He's just one of the kindest people that I've ever met, so it, it is a tremendous loss for us. It was like walking through a rainbow and the day you saw him. Albright was a longtime Missouri Western professor. Personally, I'll just miss hearing him come down the hall and say, hey, Dr. Ed, right? Which was always, uh, you know, just a moment of happiness for me. And his teaching went beyond the traditional academic walls with guest lectures at museums that people described as captivating because of his passion and experience. Dr. Jimmy, he just did everything with so much heart and passion and enthusiasm, and that was um, contagious. His talks weaved artifacts and personal stories from the dozens and dozens of trips and excavations in the Middle East, creating a living, breathing history. Behind me in the case, we have some of the objects that um, he's found on his excavations um, in the Middle East. He really understood the power of objects to tell stories, um, and he really made um, archaeology come alive because he was sharing something that he felt was so profoundly important. And so when you talk to him and listen to him about his work, um, you knew that he found it important and inspiring, and so it made you want to be interested in it and learn more about it. And as a deeply religious man, he found a way to teach about his faith through archaeology and history. He'd show you pictures of where he walked in the same places that Jesus did, uh, and then encourage you to go on the same trip so that you could walk and be and see all those same things and bring them to life. Nothing cooler than sitting on the pier of the Sea of Galilee and having someone point and say, yeah, right over there, that's where they fed the 5,000. I mean, goosebumps on making stuff like that real. That's the strength in just about any spiritual leader that's out there is someone uh, that can meet you where you're at uh, and, 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 and tell you they've walked that walk uh, and then be able to turn to the page in the Bible and say, um, here's how you make it through that walk. But above all, they say what they'll really remember Albright for is his kindness and the mark he left on each of their lives. He was the kindest human I've ever had the opportunity to meet. Um, he was a person who, um, regardless of circumstance, always found a way to help others around him see the light in any dark corner. Um, and that was pretty miraculous. You know, much like a work of archaeology, that's what's going to live on. And then people kind of look back at our past, they'll discover that influence and impact enduring, I imagine. Reporting in St. Joseph, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. Well said. Thank you, Maddie. Wyatt Park Baptist Church will host Albright's farewell services at 10 a.m. on Thursday.